Okay, take a minute to read this problem. Read it again. Think about what you need to do to be able to answer this problem. Now, once you've read the problem a couple of times, looked through it, looked at your answer choices, what you should be able to tell here is that this is another one of those linear programming problems, but you don't have to graph anything. And there is some information there that isn't really important to you for this problem, but based on the fact that you have these four answer choices to, to choose from. Because you have these four answer choices to choose from when you're trying to find how many of each item should be produced to maximize your profit, number one, you don't have to draw a graph because even though you've got some inequalities here that you could create, you don't have to do it because you've already got some answer choices here to look at. When you read the problem a couple of times and really figure out what's going on, you know that the company's going to make $12 for every hat that they sell. And they're going to make $17 for every scarf sold. I don't know what kind of scarves these are, but they're making a lot of money on these scarves. And so if you think about that logically, wouldn't it make more sense for the company to make more scarves? It seems to me that if you don't have to worry about the cost at all, then there's an obvious answer here before you ever touch your calculator. There's an obvious answer here of A. If you, don't, if, if you just think about it based on the information that you have. If you're going to make more money by making more scarves, as long as this situation fits the others, did the company produce no more than 80 items? Yeah, because 25 plus 55 is 80. Did the company make at least 25 hats? Yes. Did they make at least 30 scarves? Yes. And so it, it seems obvious without doing any kind of math work that, of course, you're doing math work because you're thinking mathematically that A would be the correct answer. But if you want to check every one of them and you have your calculator available, then you check every one of them. And you put these, um, these figures in your calculator for each one of those answer choices to figure out what the cost or what the profit would be for each one of these situations. And you can prove to yourself that yes, it makes more sense for this company to make more scarves than anything else. So A is the correct answer because they're going to make $12 off of each scarf, or I'm sorry, $12 off of each hat and $17 off of each scarf. So if you go through and check each one, they'll make $1,235 in the first situation and less than that for every other. So with confidence, you can choose A as your correct answer. And that's all I have to say about that.